Tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, so what have you got to lose? Tick-tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, with slosh and booze. I was going to start from that, <laughs> but it's all right. Um, uh, all right, we'll do it again. <laughs> uh, now that's it. All right. Boom. Boom. A uh, little back. bit nervous, so this is going to be this is going to be an interesting thing. Right. I'm Slosh. I'm Buzz. Welcome back to Beer Clock with Slosh and Buzz for the inaugural inaugural return fifth season fifth season preview premiere 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 um, prelude prelude no, prelude prelude. 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 Um, it's so <laughs> anyway, we haven't done this in like a year and a half. Yeah, so we're a little bit nervous. Um, but we're back. Out of the swing of things, but we are back with a brand new season. We have our first run, which for is November, the November 2019. 2019. We're kicking off season five. Brand new run. Brand new theme. Brand new, really nervous old man. Yeah. Brand new prize. So up for grabs on this theme run is a jar. Couldn't even think of a word. <laughs> So with this one, <laughs> jar um, of chili. This is a limited run of eighty-seven bottles, uh, made by my good friends Darren and uh, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa <laughs> at Billy's Bounty. This is Ken's Tombstone Repercussion Special one. And when I worked on their uh, hot sauce thing uh, a couple of months ago, three people vomited, <laughs> and and all four of them had to sit down for forty-five minutes when they didn't believe me how hot it was. Now, it's how delicious. can you say no to that? That is an endorsement. It's delicious. The illness of people is the quality of the chili. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, uh, just to remind you guys what we do, and to remind me and me, we've got our points, talking points down here because we're about professionals. The beer. Yep. yep. Because as so, you see, we get distracted about talking about the particular. We, beer. we had a bet with each other that we weren't going to make the ten to fourteen minutes. So this is a good way to string that along. That's it. Remember what we're actually trying to do. All right, what I deliberately left that pause to see how long you'd wait. What have right, we got? <laughs> so first talking point is price. Um, and today we have Hond Briggery. Oh man, where'd you give me this one? Hand Briggerite. Hand, hand Briggerite. Uh, it's Fire and Flame. It's a dry hopped IPA. Which, once again, my glasses don't go with the uh, colour of the label, so yeah. I can't say. This is innovation and tradition, hand in, a uh, hand in hand. hand, oh, in hand. hand. I I see, they've it. even got the fingerprints on the label to show you where to hold it. I thought it was a shoe. No, it's, see, in the other side. I thought that was a shoe. Fingers. I thought it was a foot. Look. Yeah, oh, now I can see. There you go. It's like a baby's hand holding an apple. <laughs> um, anyway, light, this, light is, fire at the this is 12, it's 11.2 flaws. That's right, we said flaws. Clut and flaws. Clut and flaws. There's no clut in this, but there is flaws. 6.5% uh, alcohol. Uh, it is a fire and flame IPA, a golden IPA with lots of fruity hops, well balanced with a malt body. It is 1.7 standard drinks. And. Uh, Where's it from, this one? It is a product of Norway. Norway. So Norwegian beer. So this is our first one. Um, Hand Brigit. As, <laughs> as you guys. Definitely remember because you you remember you've been waiting with bated breath for us to yeah, do this. Yeah, no, we can't. Everybody can't just wait for our return. Oh yes, to hear what it, we it, have it's, to say it's the return that everybody with our, that nobody asked for. Formed an amazing opinions <laughs> on stuff. <But> um, <laughs> there's a theme running through this, and if the person who guesses it wins the prize, we actually talked about a prize without telling anybody what the competition was. Yeah, so uh, there is a theme running through. There is these a theme. Beers. That links them all together somehow. It and might it, be in the name of the beer, it might be in the brewery, it might be in something we say in regards to the beer. It might be easy, it might be hard, we might have just spaced out and done something that makes no sense. So we have here a beautiful amber gold IPA. It's quite thick, isn't it? It's got haze. Oh, I it. definitely can't see through this. But yeah. It is not. There's there's a lot of blood in this urine. urine. <laughs> Used to say. I think so. <laughs> anyway, this is this is uh, Hamburg Fur and Fleur. This is imported by www.phoenixbeers.com.au. That's my son's name. Bit of chaos to, magic going on right to, now. You have to talk to him about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> cheers, man. Cheers. It's been a cheers, long, everyone. long time, and uh, let's see what oh, Hamburgret has to offer. That's quite lovely. 
It's not perfect. It's quite quite lovely. Nothing really jumps out. Like yeah, that. but it's there's nothing wrong with it. I had you know I had the other day I had a, I had a, a, a draft a Wilson draft. Yeah. And that was not as good as this. <laughs> um, and then I had a lager a little while ago. That was not as good as this. Yeah, this yeah. is better than the draft and the lager I yeah. had in the previous times of this that I'm not reviewing and I can't remember what they were. Yeah, I wouldn't even classify this as an IPA in terms of taste either. I'm not getting much hop. Are you? There's no hop. Yeah, it's just like a malt. It's just like There a... would have been more hop if that was a foot. Yeah. Just one foot. Because <laughs> you have the hop. That's right, but it's a hand. It's a han. <laughs> you can't hop on a hand. But well, there's, it's, no, it's... there's no hops that jump out at me at all. Like, it says it's Do a they fruity. hop out at you? No, they don't. <laughs> Do they... they're dead. Uh... They've been killed. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, it's, it's, it's not an IPA. It doesn't taste like an IPA. It, uh, it tastes... It's almost ambery. Yeah, it tastes like an amber ale. You're right. But it's but it's fine it's like for a an golden amber. ale amber ale. It would be a good It's a, a gamba. Good, a good gamba. It's a good gamba. A good yeah. golden gamba. A golden gamba? <laughs> that sounds a golden like golden amber is a gamba. That sounds like something that in like old movies like the carry on movies would have been like a peeping tom. Golden, golden gamba. gamba. Like an old bridge. <laughs> Look <sighs> It's not an IPA. It's not. It looks good. What do we call it in the glass? Is it appearance? Or pre presentation. This is a, no, no. A presentation, presentation is the is bottle. Good. Yes, the presentation. I really like it because it reminds me of the Flame and the Flood, which is a really good indie game that I played in the past, and yeah. it kind of I liked it when it was a shoe. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. I liked it when oh. it was a shoe. One. <laughs> <laughs> One out of ten. No, it's a space peanut. <laughs> <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> I was gonna say five. Uh, no, but um, all right. No, we did this. Uh, did we did the size? Size we purchased. Mil. We bought this at the liquor shed for eight ninety nine each this morning. The liquor shed are fantastic. Cheers, cheers to the shed. Shout outs. Shout. Do we? Shout outs to Hoff. Shout outs to Nate. Shout outs to Lauren. Hashtag. Hatch, yeah, hashtag sorry. no filter. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. We're Look, too old. We're too old. We're Look, too old for that. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed in this is our first beer back. Um, yeah, I'm not. It's not doing anything for me. It's fine. That's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Six taste. I'm not sure I would put it it's, up there with something that comes from like Two All or Mikula. It or looks something. pretty good in the glass for an amber. Six. And I'm going to say presentation, I'm going to change uh, it to five to six. Six, six, six. And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to sit in the fire and the flum. All right. The fur and the flum. Fire and the, the, the han, the han, brigri. Get your hand out of my flum. All right, so what do we <laughs> rate it out of again? So taste, it's not doing it for me. I'm going to give it a, because it says it's a fruity, hoppy IPA. There's no hops. I'm going to give it a three. It has to be a three. There's nothing... It doesn't taste bad, but it is definitely not. I really IPA. want it to be positive. Yeah, but I'm not going to be. So a three on taste. Presentation, I mean, when you pour it in the glass, you do think I'm in for an IPA experience. You've seen hazy, hazy sort of darker colored ones. You, even from that color, you'd be expecting some resin at least and bitterness, but there's none of that either. It really does. I resign myself to not a good like beer. A yeah. Mm. yeah. So presentation, I'll give it a bit higher. I'd give it a five on presentation. Um, and then, what was the last one that we rated on? Uh, presentation, bottle. The bottle. Appearance, presentation, appearance. taste. So appearance six, taste three, and yeah, it did, it did make us want to buy it. We bought it. Yeah. No, That's why we have Appearance five, it. taste three, bottle five. So I'm just going right. to give, I'm going to mid-range it because... It's lower mid range. This is well. If we start out at 10, 10, 10, we've got nowhere to go. Yeah, that's We're right. We're going to do what all the hot sauces do and least... they keep going up because this <laughs> is uh, what's this? What's this heat range? It's like, oh no, he doesn't do it. He's a good per Darren's good, good Darren. So you never know what you're going to get. Well, because all of his are just hot at the same level, even though they're not actually <laughs> the same. Um, anyway, uh, what else did we need to talk about? Yes, we got the theme. Guess it. Uh, beer's fine. Yeah, um, also, fun. there'll be a link down below to my Movember page, which is why I don't, I have a vulnerable baby burnt <laughs> face. I went out with the scouts yesterday and I got burnt by the flame in the sky. Um, His uh, face hasn't seen the sun for nigh on five, six years. 
And uh, <laughs> I learned that lesson that the Australian sun can teach you, which is, my, feel it, it's all it's still hot. See, I'm still actually hot. <laughs> like, it's, it's actually radiating hot, heat. Folks. I cover <laughs> myself in aloe and lay in bed going, with the air conditioner on. It was awful. Um, but I'll have a link down below. Movember, for anybody who doesn't know, is they it's for men's mental health and prostates or something. It's about men's health, so yeah, donate prostate money cancer for me looking cancer. stupid with this stuff. Which is, I think it looks pretty metal. Yeah, but my what do you reckon, folks? My face, is, my face is all fat and burnt like a baby. <laughs> Never leave your babies in the sun. They'll look like me. And that's not what you want for your babies. Especially your babies' bums. Because I always say as smooth as a baby's bum. They do. Are babies' bums smooth? I don't have kids, so I don't know. Hmm. Different, anyway. Diplomatic that... response there. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, on the baby's ass note, there's a theme for you to get throughout these note. beers. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, folks. It's week one. It's week one. <laughs> week and, one um, after a long hiatus. Pleasure to be back. Bye. Drinking together. See you, folks. Peace. Mm.